I'm Rob Whitfield with the Orange County Register and welcome to OCN2 for Monday, August 24th. Canadian police said Sunday that Ryan Jenkins, the reality TV contestant suspected of killing his swimsuit model wife, Jasmine Fiore, and leaving her body in a trash bin in a Buena Park apartment complex, apparently hanged himself inside a Canadian motel room. Jenkins was found dead inside a room at the Thunderbird Motel in Hope, British Columbia, Sunday afternoon. He reportedly checked into the motel on Thursday. The hotel manager said a woman in her 20s paid for the room in cash while a man waited outside. Buena Park police held a press conference Sunday afternoon and shared few new details, but did say police are still eager to locate Fiore's car, a white 2007 Mercedes-Benz with a black top and black rims. Anyone with information is asked to call the number on your screen. Garden Grove police are investigating the possibility that the woman found dead in a room at the Crown Plaza Hotel on Friday may have been connected to an internet escort service. Police are looking into the internet site Humaniplex Orange County after they received phone calls alerting them to a possible connection between the site and 24-year-old Ashley Nicole Lilly of Inglewood. Police said they are investigating Lilly's death as a homicide, but have released little additional information. They could not confirm that Lilly was a member of the Humaniplex website, but said they are planning to conduct interviews to determine whether the connection is true. When Orange County students return to school this fall, they'll be greeted by larger class sizes, fewer teachers, and abridged offerings in areas including sports, music, and counseling. Orange County schools lost $550 million in state funding this year alone and were forced to shed more than 2,300 jobs. Still, Orange County students continued to post modest gains on recently released standardized test results and beat their peers statewide. A reflection, officials say, of the commitment of educators here to work harder with fewer resources. The rodeo came home to San Juan Capistrano this weekend, featuring the nation's top 30 competitors at riding and roping contests, among some 200 cowboys entered in the 9th annual Rancho Mission Viejo Rodeo. As in years past, competitors got one shot at $200,000 in prize money, the richest two-day stakes in American rodeo. To the riders and ropers, it means big money, respect, and a chance to improve their standing before the national finals rodeo in December in Las Vegas. And the spirit of Elvis was alive and well this weekend at the Orange County Marketplace in Costa Mesa. Sunday, more than 32 years since his death on August 16, 1977, fans of the King gathered to celebrate his persona and his music. Five Elvis impersonators performed, along with karaoke singers, a stilt-walking Elvis, and Brutus the Elvis Dog. Winners of the karaoke contest may go on to compete in Karaoke Fest 2009 at the Los Angeles County Fair in September. And you can read more about all of these stories at ocregister.com.